What up everybody and welcome to Baz on Blades. My name is Baz and I talk about blades and today we've got an unboxing and initial reaction of a product from a new for Baz on Blades company. Uh, what we've got here is some leather and this is coming from Andar Leather and I will put their um, website information in the description section and I will pin it in the comment section. Also, uh, I want to say thank you to Megan at Andar Leather and Andar Leather themselves uh, for sending this product out to Baz on Blade so we can get some content for all of you subs and viewers. Uh, anybody that is interested in leather, I took a look through Andar's website. They've got some nice looking products, um, some men's wallets, some stuff for women. Uh, you've got leather cases for cell phones, uh, for like MacBooks. You've got um, some uh, some leather uh, AirPod cases that looked really nice. And uh, what I did is I had them send me a couple of men's wallets uh, because I'm a man. Majority of my viewers, 101% of my viewers and subs are men because... Uh, there's no women here, apparently. And um, I thought that that was what you guys would be interested in seeing. So I looked through their website and picked out a couple of wallets. And that's what we've got here for this unboxing. We are going to open these with the Kershaw Bare Knuckle. Yeah, great knife. If you don't have a Kershaw Bare Knuckle, you need to get a Kershaw Bare Knuckle. Uh, fantastic knife. I do have a review on that knife on my web page or my web page. I don't have a web page um, on my YouTube channel here. So you need to check that out. Let's see. Take a look at this package in here. Andar, the Diplomat. Now the Diplomat is the model of a wallet there. And then we've got, what else do we have here? We've got the Apollo. Now let's look at this packaging and pull that out of the way. We've got a, a brown cardboard box. It is fully wrapped and sealed. Uh, this Apollo is in dark brown and the Diplomat is in black. We will get rid of this super reflective plastic pretty quickly here, guys. Now, these are both bifold wallets. I picked two bifold wallets uh, because I thought they would appeal the most to my viewers. And for a second reason, um, one of these is going to go into the Baz on Blades Christmas giveaway. And I wanted to pick something that would be the most useful to different men out there. So I picked uh, two bifolds. The Diplomat is a traditional bifold, and that's what I carry. And then the Apollo is sort of a minimalist uh, bifold card holder. So let's see which one are we going to look at first. Let's look at the Apollo first. And, uh, you know, plastic is so hard on... Oh, I've got a knife right here. Bass on blades, what's wrong with you? It's the knife channel. All right, let's get this packaging open. Now, I have never seen, other than their website, uh, any of the product from this company. Let's see, okay, clam shelly sort of thing here. And what do we have here? We've got a nice card stock thank you from Andor. And uh, it gives you a $5 off coupon code for next purchase. Thanks, five. Hey, uh... There you go. Thanks, five, guys. Uh, this must be the wallet right here. It's in a linen drawstring bag. That's very nice. Uh, very nice there. We will pull it out. And this is their dark brown. I did. I chose dark brown and I chose black because I thought those would be the most appealing colors. And uh, what we've got here is a bifold. Uh, looks like to me very... Very good, very straight, very tight stitching. Uh, the leather has an oiled type of feel into it. It's going to age and patina very, very well. Um, this is going to end up a very, very good looking wallet. 
Now, what we've got here is we've got an ID window. I picked two models with ID windows because I love ID windows. You never have to take your ID out. And um, let's see, on the inside here, we've got ID window. We've got a couple of card slots. We've got our hook uh, for bills. There's no, you know, no pocket, no slot for your bills. This is the minimum wall. It's a, um, oh, wow, we've got a pull tab here. Oh, okay, it's elastic. Okay, we've got a outside. Let's see if we've got one. No, just this side. We've got an outside slot for cards. Let's bring this card stock back in here. Ah, uh, that's not going to fit, and I'm not pulling any. Oh, uh, wait a second. Let me see if I've got a card that doesn't have a credit card number on it or something. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What do we have here? We've got the Randall's Adventure and Training SE Knives survival card you should carry one of these in your wallet so on this side we've got a v notch uh, card slot that'll probably hold two or three cards and it's got a uh, slot at the bottom here where we can push that card up for access uh, on this side we've got the opposite end uh, card here we're gonna put this card in here and then you've got the pull tab which is elastic it is elastic here, and it's going to pull that card out for access. Uh, on the inside, again, we've got a couple of card slots on this side. All right. And then you've got your ID window here, which is access from the inside edge, and then your hook for your bills. And this is the sort of minimalist wallet, and that is... Um, let's see here. We probably get a couple of two or three cards here. Let's say two cards. Uh, two cards here. Um, you know, you get your ID here. You've got this exterior end card slot with the pull tab. You get a couple of cards in there. So um, six or eight cards in it, including or uh, excluding, depending on how many cards you're going to stuff in there, guys. Um, your ID and then your bill. That's a nice, that bill hook is nice and heavy, guys. Uh, zero issues there. Is it removable? I think that it is fully removable as well. And it is, uh, you can see here, it has texturing in it to keep it from pulling out on its own, backing out on it. That is pretty well designed right there. That is the Apollo. Um, it, is a, it is a bifold with an ID uh, slot in it. ID window, ID pocket, whatever you want to say. Uh, multiple card slots, interior and exterior. You've got two exterior um, storage and two interior. I like that pretty well, and that is a very attractive dark brown leather. Um, I'm thinking right now, guys, this is going to go into the giveaway. Uh, I am thinking I like that a lot. Uh, Let's see here. We're going to slip it back in. Now, I'm going to do uh, some further video on these. Um, I will probably do a, an in-depth review of both of them after, uh, you know, spending a little time with them, see how they go. And we will set the Apollo aside. And we're going to pull in the Diplomat right here. Now, the Diplomat is more of a traditional bifold where that one was a sort of a modern minimalist build bifold. This one is a traditional, and uh, I chose this one in case I wanted to keep it, but I probably will not keep it. If I don't put it in the giveaway, I may gift it to my brother at Christmas time. Uh, let's see here again. We've got our thank you card, nice heavy card stock, nice printing. Again, there is your discount code. We will set that aside. This wallet, again, in the linen drawstring bag. I love packaging like this. Um, you know, when you are spending a premium on something, uh, you want premium packaging. And um, for leather, these are not too badly priced. The Diplomat, I believe, was $59. The Apollo was $55 on their website. And we have this in black again. Let's look at the stitching here. Stitching looks good. 
stitching looks good guys we will open this up and we have our traditional bifold build uh, we've got a nice window here let's look at our fabric lining on it okay it's a nice filling fabric lining we've got an ID window here um, it is going to have let's see we've got back access uh, for card here the ID is going to go in from the top um, we've got multiple card slots that are sewn with liners they are separate pockets they are separated pockets and that is it for the diplomat man that's a good feeling this sort of oiled leather is going to wear so well and these are really um they're not bulky they're not heavy this is it's it's not super big it's sort of um traditional bifold on a diet type of size huh i like this pretty well guys <laughs> my brother may not get this i may keep this myself um yeah yeah this is really really nice so We've got the Diplomat there, which is the traditional bifold, and it sells for $59. And uh, then right here, we've got the Apollo. Let's, uh, let's sort of set this out right here, and we can set both of these wallets in here. And uh, guys, we are going to do further video on these wallets. Um... You know, I, I want to give this company a chance. They've taken a chance with Baz on Blades. And um, like I say, I you know what? I'm probably not going to keep either one of these wallets. I hate to keep product that's sent to me for free. I very seldom ever do that. Um, this is going to go, at least one of these is going to go into the Christmas giveaway. And honestly, I don't know which one of them, guys. Uh, either one of them would be really nice. Either the Apollo, which is the minimalist. Um, I would think that with, with card stock or with cards in it, even with some bills in the center, this is going to be very minimal. And let's pull out a... Uh, Let's pull out one of these here measuring sticks, what people call a ruler nowadays. You know, back in the day in the 1700s, we called it a measuring stick. And uh, we're about four inches on the length there and um, three inches on the width, both approximate. And then open, we are um, yeah, eight and three eighths of an inch there. It's shy of eight and a half on the Apollo. Um, on the Diplomat, we are four and an eighth and uh, three and three eighths. And then probably about the same, uh, about eight, just a little bit shorter. So uh, neither of these is a large bifold. Neither of them is a large bifold. And I like that very much. Um, you know, a, a bifold, a lot of times... Uh, footprint wise is pretty big where a trifold has a smaller footprint but it's much thicker where it folds in on itself in three layers and I prefer bifolds myself so what do you guys think what do you think you think we ought to throw some leather in the Baz on Blades Ultimate EDC Christmas giveaway for 2020. We've already got some knives and we've got some swag to go in there. And now we're going to throw this stuff in there. All right. So I'm going to spend a few days checking these out. I'm going to see, uh, uh, you know, approximately the capacity as far as cards and stuff go. Uh, so I can come back and give you a better idea of what we've got going on here the quality looks very good um again it's that sort of oiled leather and uh <laughs> smells like leather to me smells just like leather it's none of that funky cheap leather uh that smells like uh not leather this stuff looks and it feels and it uh, smells good. I think it will age and patina very well like a fine leather product should. 
again, Andar Leather. Uh, you guys take the time, check out their website, you know, just as a thank you to them for sending this stuff to us. It's going to go in the Christmas giveaway, at least one of them. And uh, you guys are going to make out like a bandit on this year's Christmas giveaway. I'm telling you what. All right. So check them out. Let them know that Baz on Blade sent you. If there's ever anything that I am showcasing here on uh, the Baz on Blades YouTube channel, when you go and you order from these companies, you check these companies out, let them know that you are getting the information from the Baz on Blades YouTube channel. It will make them want to send more stuff. And since Baz on Blades doesn't keep this stuff, it means you guys will get more stuff in giveaways. So, as always, thank you very much for taking the time to watch one of my videos. God bless all of you, and we will talk to you again.